This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, it's Annie from App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. Now, as we wind down 2011 and wind up for 2012, many of us will be making New Year's resolutions like uh, lose weight, quit smoking, clean your desk. I know that that one's always mine. But in the spirit of fresh starts, Nick writes in on Twitter, any tips for keeping my iPhone organized? I just got my four and had 60 apps waiting in iTunes and my home screen is a mess. This is a great question in the spirit of fresh starts. And if we do the math, that's 60 apps, that's 16 per home screen, plus the ones on the bottom. So 60 by 16 is 3.75, is that right? Yeah, anyway, give or take, but it's still probably slightly more swiping than you wanna do to get to those apps. And what's more annoying than when you can't find an app? Now, Nick, I don't always practice what I preach, but the first thing you should do is take a good, hard look at the mirror. How often do you really still use mixtapes by Ryan Seacrest? I know you paid 99 cents for it back in the day, but if it means that much to you, you can always resync it later. Rule of thumb, if you haven't opened it in, say, two months, balit. There's also, of course, folders. Personally, I don't use them all that much because it doesn't necessarily cut down on all those extra swipes and taps that can cost you so many precious milliseconds. But if you do use folders, I would recommend customizing them based on your own personal mind system. For example, you could have a folder for wasting time on the bus or stuff that you look at on the Stairmaster, if that makes more sense to you than, say, productivity. Or if you wanted to get really anal, you could like color code them. But ultimately, it depends on your brain and your organizational system. But if any of you guys have the perfect system figured out, please let me know in the comments or on Twitter. On a different note, um, here at App Judgment, we're constantly on the hunt for the perfect pair of light, relatively inexpensive, portable, in-ear headphones. And a couple months back, we pulled you guys on Facebook as to your preferences. Now, the winner of that poll was the Sennheiser CX300, but since then, we've got a couple more into the office that we tested out for you to give you a little update on this situation. Those are the Sennheiser CX880 and another pair of the Sennheiser CX300, as well as the Klipsch S4. So I tested these out sound-wise via Rihanna, but other stuff too. And I found that between the two Sennheisers, the CX880 was the better sounding of the two. However, the external volume control, though handy, is also a little bit heavy and may not be ideal for someone who uses it for running, for example. The CX300 is overall lighter and also has a case that's more manageable to carry around, in my opinion. I'm also a person that carries a purse. However, in terms of sound, Mao and I both agreed that the Klipsch, which is a slightly less well-known brand name than Sennheiser, of course, was as good, if not better, than the Sennheisers, and has an Altoid-looking case, if that's what you're into. The Klipsch and the CX300 are comparable in price, in the 40-ish dollar range if you do a little digging, while the CX880 is a little bit pricier. So overall, if you're looking for a great pair of earbuds that are reasonably affordable and you won't necessarily be completely devastated if you do lose them, we found that the Klipsch was the best of the three. So what do you guys use for overall sound quality and portability? And what will be going in your stocking stuffer, if you have stocking stuffers? Let us know in the comments, or on Twitter, and Facebook, or on Google+, or by email at appjudgment at revision3.com. Oh, and happy holidays. Bye. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative brands like Kid Robot, Stussy, and Hurley, but you hate wasting all your cash on them, check out Jack Threads. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. It's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads and serves up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain. There is a wait list to join, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash appjudge, you can get access right now and start getting all the hookups right away. Oh, and it's also completely free. So if you go to jackthreads.com slash appjudge right now, you can start getting all these deals without even leaving the house.